Hey YouTube, hey YouTube. So this is my Jessica Jones vid. This is the non-spoiler video. Um, I'm going to do the broad strokes here. I'm going to do the basic synopsis, introduction, introduction to the characters and things like that. Um, you know, so if you're curious about this show and you know, if you want my thoughts on it, if you want my seal of approval, it's got it. Um, if you want, uh, you know, if you're halfway through Jessica Jones and you kind of want me to talk about it but you don't want me to give away shit, I'll do a little bit of that. Um, I'm going to do a spoiler video shortly after this at some point, you know, so because there's shit that happens in there that I just want to fucking discuss with you guys, but you can't watch it in this video, but I'm going to give you the non-spoiler shit. Non-spoiler, basic synopsis, former, uh, yeah, superhuman termed private eye, Jessica Jones is just living in, she's living in this rundown office slash apartment, she's a private eye for hire, uh, she's got, she's mean, she's surly, she's got PTSD, okay, that she's got PTSD, she's, she gets like flashes, she has panic attacks, she, she's reciting street names to calm herself down, calm herself down whenever this happens, you find out through the course of flashbacks that she has PTSD because a character, the supervillain, the arch nemesis of the story called Kilgrave, uh, mind controlled her, which sounds so wacky when you say it like that, but there's no other way to say it. It's mind control. He took over her mind, stole her will for a year of her life, and for a year of her life, she did whatever he told her to. Whatever, anything. So, at its crux, um, first of all, it, it's, it's a different type of Marvel story. I mean, if you're familiar with Daredevil, then you know that this, uh, you, you know the caliber to expect. This is much darker than Daredevil, but necessarily so. Um, this is sort of this is very much a female-driven story. It's it definitely puts character over events, over sort of scenarios. Um, it's very much an abuse and a rape survivor story, and that word from that that's the topic of this. I mean that that's kind of a theme. That's at the crux of it. It's based on. The AKA Jessica Jones and Alias and Pulse comics by Brian Michael Bendis, and they deal with that. In the comics, it's there was a superhero, and she ran afoul of this supervillain who could control your mind, but like they stripped it of all the wackiness, and you know it, it was it was fucking dark. And this is about her getting over it. It's about her trying to confront this guy, prove this guy exists, bring him to justice, kill him, whatever it needs to be done. So the cast in this is amazing. Um, Kristen Ritter plays Jessica Jones and she's, you know, she doesn't, she's not how I see her in my head, but she's great. Same goes for Luke Cage. Luke Cage is in this, he sort of comes and goes. He's played by Mike Coulter from one of the Halo series. Um, again, a lot, lot of nuance. He's got a lot of presence though. He's not who I, who I had in my head, but he's nice. He's good. He, and he says sweet Christmas once or twice. That's cool. David Tennant knocks every fucking scene that he's in out of the park. It's hard for me to accept him as a villain because he's the Doctor and he's got the same accent. It's it's very much the Doctor if the Doctor was evil, but not the Master. I'm confusing myself now. The the entire supporting cast is really strong and again very female driven. They got Rachel Taylor playing, um, oh, what was her name? Trish Walker. Got Tarion uh, Tarion Moss playing Hogarth, her sort of lawyer buddy partner friend. Um, and like it's it's great. Um, basically, the men in this story are either villains or their love interests, and it's a weird role reversal, but it works because it's in one of the best shows that that's on. The, the writing is great; everything's just sort of flows from start to finish. It'll shock you, it'll make you laugh. You should watch Jessica Jones. More in the spoiler vid.